Okay, representing Syracuse, our head coach, Quentin Hillsman, guard, Cornelia Fondren, and guard, Alexis Peterson. First off, congratulations. Thank, Thank, Thank you. you very much. And coach, if you could begin with a brief statement. Well, we're just really happy to win the basketball game. That's the goal in, in, in the tournament, to so win the game and advance to the next game, and we did that. So I'm very happy um, for, our, for our players. They did a tremendous job of just staying solid through this entire game. Um, you know, we, we just wanted to make sure that we did a very good job on, on Kelsey. We did. We held her to 10 points, three, three for 14 from the field. So I thought we did an amazing job on her, and, and she's just a phenomenal player. So we wanted to make sure that we took care of her and, and kept her in front of us and then give her easy – easy looks and I thought that our pressure was really good. We've turned over 23 times. We took care of the ball for the most part in the fourth quarter and you know, we, we had some turnovers. They went on a little run and we knew they would make a run at some point, but that was totally my fault. I, I mismanaged the game down the stretch. I didn't get us in the right press break and, and he got a few a few easy shots and a few steals that they probably shouldn't have gotten if I would have got us in the right stuff. So. I got to take full responsibility for those turnovers down the, down the stretch. I, I got to do a better job of managing the end of the game. But, you know, we're just happy to win. And, and we knew coming into this game, it, it would be a very tough team. They won 19 in a row. And, and, and it's a, just a phenomenal team. And, and, and uh, you know, they have a great coach who's been on the men's side for 20 years. And he's been around for a long time. He's seen every situation. So it, it was a challenge all the way through. But, you know, we just wanted to come out and do what we did just now and, and just win the basketball game. Thank you, Coach. We will now open it up for questions for the student athletes. Once again, if you could please raise your hand, we'll bring a microphone to you. And if you could please identify yourself by name and media outlet when addressing the dais. Third row on the left. Kate Sweeting, Time Warner Cable News. Uh, for Alexis, um, some of the words that Army described you guys as defense was overwhelming and relentless. How confident were you guys after the first even five minutes, you know, forcing turnovers and really putting that press on, putting a lot of pressure right away? Um, I think we felt very confident. You know, we, we kind of got a feel for the game, especially after being off for so long. And, um, you know, we, we saw that we can get them, you know, playing faster than probably what they wanted to. We wanted to speed the game up. and. Um, we did, I thought we did a good job of, you know, getting after them early. Other questions for the student athletes? Lindsay? Thanks, Lindsay Kramer, the Post Standard. Um, just to follow up on that, Alexis, you know, you, we talked to, to Kelsey yesterday. She, she'd seen a lot of defenses in her career. She said just now she really hadn't seen much like that. Did you get a sense? I mean, obviously she was, the team was frustrated, she was frustrated, but you, you know, you were face guarding her, she, she wasn't getting anything off. And did you get a sense as the game went on that, that you know, you were frustrating her a little bit or a lot? Um, I, I thought, you know, we kind of made her uncomfortable. Um, you know, we tried to keep a lot of pressure on her. Um, and if that meant, you know, they're coming down on a break, we weren't going to leave her open. So um, I thought, you know, we just did a good job of, you know, trying to take her out of her comfort zone and limit her shots and make every shot hard for her. And, I thought we did a good job of doing that. Paul, in the front. Uh, Alexis, what was the key for you, you know, offensively, you know, getting to the free throw line so often, I guess, what was the key for, for you to, to, to do that? Um, I think just staying aggressive, um, you know, taking advantage of what the defense was giving me. Um, you know, coach talked about coming off the ball screen and being, you know, in attack mode and beating the help, beating, you know, we knew we'd have a 1-5 matchup because they would switch the, the ball screen. So I just wanted to take advantage of that and um, keep playing aggressively at the rim. Lindsay? Cornelia, oh, thank you. You meant, Alexis just mentioned the word attack mode, or words attack mode. You know, uh, two possessions in, three possessions in, they had two 10-second violations. At the end of the game, it's what a 15, 20 point game, and Brittany's still still blocking Kelsey, and you're, you're you know you're celebrating, and you're all over everybody. Just just the the tenacity and intensity, while you know not a surprise at this level, you're in the NCAA tournament. When you think of the word attack mode or attack, is that just the mentality of this team, start to finish? You know, we're going to be all over you. Yeah, I think that's what Coach preached to us every day. You know, we have to press, we have to get up, be aggressive, and I think that's what we did today. We was aggressive, we attacked the basket, and we got the ball in the hoop. Kate? Um, Alexis, just uh, talk a little bit about the crowd and just that atmosphere in there. It seemed really electric, and there was a lot of people that came out to support. How much does it help you guys when you see so many fans and the signs and just that environment? 
Um, I thought it was great. You know, we ended uh, our regular season um, at home with Florida State, and we had a great crowd. And um, I thought it really, you know, it was great for us that, you know, we had such a good turnout and so many people came out, you know, to show their support. I think it means a lot, not only for us, but for women's basketball to get this kind of type of turnout this time of year. Paul, on the front. Uh, for Cornelia, um, you know, how much does it energize the team when Alexis is controlling the game and, and, and commanding everything from, from the point guard position? I think she gives us a lot of energy. Um, her, her extreme encouragement, um, she's always jumping up. I mean, that's a lot for us. You know, whenever she's going, she gets us going as the point guard. That's her job. So um, I'm really proud of her that she does that. She gives us a lot of energy. Kate? Uh, for Cornelia, you know, how much confidence does it give you guys to not just win, but just win in such decisive uh, fashion going into Sunday's matchup? Um, it gives us a lot of confidence, but right now we're taking one game at a time. So we're just taking it one game. You know, we won this game. Next game, we play Albany. So we're just taking it. <clears throat> Any other questions for the student athletes? Lindsay? Um, you know, I thought for this being our first game in a while, it was pretty good. But we, you know, there were moments where we kind of got sloppy. We had, you know, scoring drought. So, um, we know we still have some things to improve on, you know, if we want to keep advancing uh, in this tournament. And it, with each round, you know, the competition gets that much harder. Each team is that much more hungry. So, you know, you have to try and stay at your best each, you know, each game moving forward. Any other questions for the student athletes? All right, ladies, thank you very much. You're free to go. Thank you. We'll now take questions for head coach Quentin Hillsman. Once again, please raise your hand, and we'll bring a microphone to you. John, in the front. Um, coach, just with the press and with the half-court defense, um, how much of it was just kind of shutting down Army's one ball handler and Kelsey Minato and then kind of trusting that the rest would sort of work itself out? Well, we, we were more worried about once we got her contained and got someone that, assigned to her that the other players would make some shots. Because so they have two other shooters that made 50 plus threes this season. So you always have to be conscious of, of the other players. And she makes her teammates just so much better. She's an amazing player. Um, I think I watched now a total. I watched the other game this morning. I watched, her, I watched eight games of them playing. And in and, and every game, she did something that just made you go, wow. I mean, she's a, a, a tremendous basketball player. And she's a great passer. And, and, and when you give her so much attention, you, you worry about the other players hurting you. But we did a very good job. And I thought that overall, we did a pretty good job defensively. <clears throat> Paul in the front. Uh, Coach, what can you say about um, you know Alexis Peterson? It's like every game, she's doing this type of thing. And, and she's just been such a dominant player. You know, what does it say about her when she's doing that biggest stage of the season? Well, it's, well, it's, it's it's tough. You know, she 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 plays for for ex point guard who thought he was pretty good, and but, but she's a little better than I was. Like, I I really have to admit that. And and she's just very relentless. She plays really tough, and and she plays through me barking in her in her ear the whole game. And and she's just a tremendous. I'm competitive. I have to give her a lot of credit. For, for staying tough and handling the ball and doing the things that she does night in and night out to help us to win basketball games. But she was phenomenal today handling the ball. I, I thought that probably four of those turnovers were definitely on me late in the game. I just didn't get us in, into the right press press offense. And she had a few turnovers that we probably could have avoided. One time I told her to stop, and that girl back tapped her. So so there's a, there's a few things that happened down the stretch that was totally on me. And I thought the game got sloppy because I didn't manage the game properly down the stretch. But at the end of the day, we got the result we wanted. We wanted to win the game in advance. <clears throat> Paul and then Lindsay. And Brianna Day down low was, was pretty dominant, had a lot of block shots. I guess how important is that, you know, her presence just being able to get in the way and, and alter the, the other team's offense? Well, it was great. And, and really more, it was her offensive rebounding because she got us multiple um, possessions. And, and that was huge for us. We wanted to win, win, win some battles and we wanted to win a three point battle. and we. And, and that was a push, and we got 23 offensive rebounds. They got 16, so obviously forced 23 turnovers. We had 14, and five of them were probably late in the game, probably when the game was out of reach. But 
at the, at the end of the day, she was just tremendous. She was a tremendous anchor. She got us extra possessions, and, and she had a good game. Lindsey? Uh, I know the, team, the intensity of your team is something you've seen all year long. You've had great success, so it's, it's I'm sure it's something you preach, and it's no surprise. But Army certainly seemed not ready for it, even though they had scouted you. You heard Alexis talk about being in attack mode. Just your thoughts about um, the tone you like to set with your team. A lot of teams press a lot. A lot of teams are aggressive. You just seem to really take it from the start with the two 10-second violations to the end when Brittany's blocking Kelsey in a game that's over. Uh, just Is that just the tone you're, you're setting you want these – Girls to have? It's no question. We just we we just want to want to play for forty minutes. We be talking about playing complete games, and we talk about that down the stretch. The last five possessions of the game, less win those, no matter what the what the score is. And I thought that down the that down the stretch, we did a we did a decent job in the last minute and a half of kind of selling the game down. But I thought there was a stretch that we got a little sloppy. But our players are really intense, and we talk about playing playing really really aggressive and, and making our opponents uncomfortable. And it was our goal today to make them uncom uncomfortable and not allow them to run clean offense. I thought we did a good job of that. Third row on the left. Hi, uh, Pete Doherty, Albany Times Union. Quentin, how surprised are you at your, uh, to learn the identity of your next opponent and how much you know about Albany? Oh, not surprised at all. I'm really not. Um, they're, they're a very good basketball team. and. and and, and uh, Coach Abe has done a gr very good job wherever she's been. I think they won, what, five straight um, conference t titles. They're they a very impressive basketball team. And, and I know a lot about them. I actually watched, the, watched their championship game last week and watched them play on, on, on TV. They're a very talented basketball team. And, and they apply pressure. I and mean, they, they, they'll get back and guard you a little bit in the zone. They play over the top of you. On offense, so I know a lot about them. Um, we've I've seen them a lot, and and we've been preparing for all three three teams in this tournament. So we so we've seen them a ton. Kate, um, just the crowd that came out today. I saw a lot of signs, a lot of kids, just a lot of you know, just a great environment out there. Can you just talk about how important that is for the team and that energy level and the excitement just surrounding the, the day like today? I thought it was amazing, and I think that from the from the moment that the game was announced, I thought that our administration and, and our marketing team, everyone did a very good job of getting the word out and, and doing a lot of different things for us to try to get get a get a crowd here. I thought the crowd was a, was amazing, and, and when we started the game, I mean, we we, we really felt their energy, and and you heard them, and they were loud, and they were really into the game, and and it was it was just a great atmosphere for us, and and for us to be home hosting and and getting a great crowd and. And obviously, hoping to get that crowd back on Sunday, even more people is important for us. And we really appreciate everyone coming out. We appreciate all the great job that our administration and marketing people did to get people in the stands. It was a great, great day for us. Any further questions for Coach? Okay, Quentin, thank you very much for your time. All right, thank you.